Hi, this is Nikki Ballou, the co-founder of eCircle. And I'm the other co-founder, Michael Palmer. We're really thrilled to be here with you today, and we've got a really exciting and fun topic to be talking to you about. You know, here's the thing. A lot of entrepreneurs start their businesses in what Michael Gerber calls a fit of entrepreneurial seizure. They've been somebody who's really talented at doing something, someone that he calls a technician, and they decide, you know what, I can do this on my own. I can start my own business, and instead of making someone else money, I'll make myself money. And armed with that enthusiasm, they jump in and start their own business. Here's the problem. They really don't have a clue about what it takes to run a successful business. They act pretty much the way they acted when they were working for somebody else, except now they're working for themselves. As a result, they work really hard, they struggle, yet their business doesn't really get the results and the success that they want or they really deserve. You know, I want to tell you the story about one of our uh, clients. This gentleman owns a wellness clinic, and it's actually a really great clinic. It's located in one of the more fashionable areas here in Toronto, and it uh, generates you know, about a million a year in business. But the business is barely breaking even. This owner is really struggling. He's working in the business six to seven days a week, and he's working 10 to 12 hours a day. And he's not making any money, as you can tell. And um, I'm going to let Michael tell you about you know, what some of the problems with this are and how this can actually be solved and resolved for him. Absolutely. And I think you know, it was just the day that we, we met with them. I was thinking in the morning, you, know, you build, you work hard, you build a business, you make such and such amount of money, and what a shame that a lot of businesses don't have a clear exit plan and don't build a business that actually can be sold. And so you've worked all these years and you don't end up with really anything. It's really just this long, drawn-out job. And we, we work with a lot of folks that are in this place, and it's one of the things that we're really committed to changing for our customers and, and, and making that, dif that difference for them. So with this particular individual, we started looking at, well, what is his business? So understanding what, how is your business working, what's not working inside of your business, and some of the key areas that right away came up was not a real clear understanding of where the person wanted to get to that was actually a stretch target. You know, it was almost the goal that he had put into place was average at best. And so I sort of said to him, wait a second, so you're telling me you're going to do all this work to get a very measly, uh, almost, you know, an executive would make way more money, uh, working in a job would make way more money than this person would be making. So it was like right away, it's like, yeah, I want to make a lot more money than that. So that's, first of all, it's like, where are you trying to get to? If you're not excited and, and, and want to get there, then that's, that's a big problem. The second was not a real understanding of where the numbers were day by day, month by month. What is your profit margin? What are, what are your revenues? What are you doing to actually move those things? And then, you know, there were several other areas that we won't go into this video. But the key thing that I think our, our, our client walked away with was, you know, there's a lot of visioning needing to be done and a bigger uh, bolder game plan for his business that will be exciting to him and have him want to do the hard work to actually build a business that can pr produce those kind of fruits. You know what? That's absolutely true. And the final thing I want to say about this uh, for this client, and you may be able to relate, is he didn't really have a lot of systems or structures in his business. In fact, it was a point of pride to him that he owned his own business, that he didn't have to do those things that he had to do when he was uh, working for somebody else. And uh, Michael and I both had a good chuckle over that because that's the thing that's going to make his business something that he can actually sell, something that will live without him, systems and processes. So the point of us sharing this with you in this video is for you to really get a sense of, you know, it's exciting when you have an idea for a business, but it's even more exciting when you can actually have it be a business that can grow and thrive without you being there. Something that you can, as Michael said, exit from and sell. Listen, thanks very much for watching.